math equation. <laughs> Spell your name. <laughs> Now, how is a three-year-old supposed to know how to spell Chantaquasia? <laughs> Do you know how to spell Chantaquasia? Chantaquasia's mama don't even know how to spell Chantaquasia. She put a number two in it, okay? I mean, <laughs> right, my name is Elle Michelle, everybody. Peace out, have a good night. Give it up for Elle Michelle. How you guys feeling? You feeling okay? All right, you guys are a great audience. We have a few more comedians, not too many. I appreciate you guys hanging in there. I also want to remind you again, if you guys have a little bit of time, like this lady's doing right here, it's okay, don't be embarrassed. You get a, a gold star if you're in my class. Just fill those surveys out, guys, and you will get a chance to get tickets for David Letterman, Jimmy Fallon, Gotham Comedy Club, are you guys ready for more comedy? All right, this next gentleman come to the stage. How about a big hand for Angel Adorno? Well, 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 you motherfuckers showed up. I'm not the only the pitiful sack of shit here. Which is... You're very welcome, sugar pie. <laughs> you know, listening, you know, we had a great lineup. We had, we had Chelsea, and we had, and we had Elle Michelle. Now, what I got from listening to both, those, both of those two is, I am hungry for a booby sandwich. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my, God. I'm paying attention to these notes. You know, I got like notes in my head because I don't really read shit out loud. And, and that's hard to concentrate when you hear one girl going, yes, I'm half white and half black, and I'm thinking, okay, she steals gas. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's bad. And I'm hearing the other one talking about adjusting her titties, and I'm like, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. It sucks being blind when you hear about titties. That's right, that's right. You gentlemen, close your eyes and let somebody tell you about titties. You cry. <laughs> and as for you women out there, it's like somebody telling you about a nice pair of shoes they saw and you can't see them. <laughs> Same thing. These women give to charity. They won't let me touch their tits. <laughs> if, I go, if I go up to Miss Elma Michelle and go, sweetie, can I rub your ass? All you hear is, that's it. It's sadness. It is freaking sadness to hear such a thing. And in New York, women are walking around from what I hear. That's right, from what I hear, because I, I wish I could hear boobs just swinging, you know, women. I don't hear that shit. From what I hear, women are walking around brawless. And friends tell me about this, and I ask the all-important question, okay, gentlemen? Gentlemen over here, gentlemen over there, some chicks over there chick with the funky hat somewhere. Now, the important thing, it's not to see boob. You can see boob everywhere. The important thing is, if you see the nipple, that's the fucking cherry, that's the cherry on top of the motherfucking Sunday right there. Mm -mm. And you got two types of nipples, all right, gentlemen? I guess you guys don't know. Women do this too, because the exercise is to make, to, to get certain size nipplage. Okay, you have nipplage, yes, brand new word, nipplage, little nipple. Okay, that's right, the word of the day is nipplage. Can y'all repeat nipplage? Nipplage, okay. Nipplage, that's it. Now, two types of nipples you got out there. You got raisinets, which all you could do is just suck your tongue around there. Like, there's not much you could do with a raisinette. You almost don't know you're touching it. If you could see it, you'll probably see it. But with me, I got to go over the booth a couple of times and make, is this shit, no, this shit, no, right there. And then, yes, yes, yes. That's, that's called a pass and miss. The, the second nipple is the M&M with peanut. Yes, we love those. Now, the M&M with peanut sticks out like this. 
So you could be you could be a blind man in a fucking snowstorm and it's cold and you're around the boom. <laughs> oh, got it. Oh my God. You know. And yes, yes. You guys know what I'm talking about. I would get into clitoris, but I only got a few more minutes, so I'm not going to get in there. So in the summertime, you see all this stuff. And God, how do you guys keep? I got hypnotized once by a woman's ass. I was able to see, and I'm bike, not, but yeah, I'm bike riding when I was sighted. Oh, and by the way, what your parents told you guys about masturbation, it is true. Leave the penis alone. If you could do something else, there's more to life than stroking the dick and holding the balls. <laughs> Read a book. Do charity. <laughs> and don't jerk off in the bathroom. Don't do the work and jerk. <laughs> oh, shit, you motherfuckers have done that too? <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, so I'm bike riding, you know. And I'm listening, and I'm cruising, and I'm cruising. You know the Mr. Softy truck? I'm cruising. Ding, 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 ding. And I saw this woman. She was wearing tight shorts. And wow, big ass. And she's walking. Her ass is going like this. And I'm looking like this. Like this. And, and the Mr. Softy music is playing. All of a sudden, I fall off the freaking bike. I hit the freaking mirror. She runs over. Now, you can actually say I fell for her. But that, but that wasn't the case. She picked me up, and I was embarrassed. I followed her. If it wasn't for that fucking minivan mirror, I think I would have followed her to the Bronx, man. We, we, we both happen. God, you know, I'm, I'm fixing this mic. Wouldn't it be cool if we had penises like this? You're having sex with a girl, and you go, honey, how big do you want me to be tonight? Um, give me, um, how big are you now? I'm seven. Give, give me another nine, big daddy. <laughs> Now, that, that shit would be perfect. It would be, it, yes, exactly. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hey, guys, don't do that, don't do that gay pride thing, because, listen, I'm proud, yeah, I'm all for gay pride, all right? But it gets me a little nervous, because I can't see who's whistling at me, man. <laughs> you know, it's like some guy's going, oh, shit, he looks so good. He doesn't see it right now, but he'll be gay. He'll be gay. <laughs> I went to Christopher Street once, and I, need help. I needed help crossing, right? And which is really cool, because sometimes motherfuckers will stand on a corner and watch me stand there for like minutes, 45 minutes at a time. I one time had fucking bird, uh, uh, a nest of birds sit on my fucking head and wait. <laughs> That's how long I was standing on a fucking corner. Gay guy goes, oh, you need help crossing? I said, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. He goes, here, grab onto this. Now, I was disgusted after I crossed the street. Oh, uh, oh shit, that's my ride, motherfuck. Well, listen, check me out on Twitter. My name is Angel Adorno, and you've been a wonderful, wonderful audience. All right, how about a big hand for Angel Adorno? All right, guys, you ready for more show? Yeah. All right, this next guy's a club favorite. Give it up for Joe Connell. Yeah. Do the right thing, people. Keep clapping. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Give it up for my man, Vinny Barbarino, who just introduced me over there looking slick as shit. Like one of the fucking good fellas. 